G'day Tubes, how's she going? Uh, just waiting for the wife to come out of the house and uh, we're gonna go for a cafe, that's what we do every morning, so helps me, you know, wake up a bit kind of thing, so um, hopefully you didn't get too scared uh, with uh, yesterday's video there. <laughs> Tricked you on that one a bit, eh? Holy, so I purposely made the video quiet so you'd all be like, turn it up and, what's he saying? And all of a sudden, Ugh! so <laughs> sorry if some of you soiled your shorts, but uh, eh, so it's time for a little fun, you know? So anyways, I'm just waiting for her and I'm just looking at the future scrap flyer. And I thought a 60 inch uh, LED TV was, you know, pretty big. That's pretty huge. Uh, now they have an 80 inch. Seriously? Seriously. Let's have a look, tubes. Let's have a look. Well, there's the 60. Holy. An 80 inch LED TV. $4,500. Seriously? Who has that much free wall space? That's uh, pretty freaking huge. You'd have to he, have a huge, huge room to sit back far enough so you could actually see it without getting your eyes warped around the freaking TV. But I don't know. Whatever. But uh, yeah, we're just going to look at this and then uh, not too sure what we're going to get into today. It's uh, going to be new for me and new for you. So I guess we'll probably get that box open from John Deere and see what's in that thing. It's freaking heavy, so I don't know what's in it, but it must be, it must be gold. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyways, uh, yeah. See you in a few minutes. Too, so we got kind of everything just jammed right in here, but there's my case of paint. John Deere paint. Apparently he says that's uh, the new color and stuff, so okay. There's an older color apparently and then this newer John Deere green. He says there's more green in the other one. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, gotta take this blower back someday too. It's in the way here. But anyways, I uh, gotta pull this out I guess and then uh, the box is just in behind there, so small box. So hold on a sec, dudes. We'll pull this out. Okay, so let's figure this out how we open this. Presuming this is a semi here. Thingy there. Thingy there. Oh, oh boy. This is pretty intense tubes. There's a bunch of stuff in here. That's why it should be so heavy. Well. There's a bunch of parts and bits and pieces and holy frick, I didn't think it'd be that involved. Wow, we pins and wow. There's a couple of those uh Dewey adjuster army things. And there's the top link. That's your top link. There's what's adding a bit of weight to the box is this guy's here. Holy! Those are pretty freaking heavy duty. Those have got to be uh, three quarter inch thick steel there, I would say. Wow. That's what's adding all the weight to her. Holy! He's jumping. Good thing they sent a manual because I'm lost. Oh, and there's a couple of adjuster -y link thingies and. Uh, they uh, put uh, those deweys on there to protect the threads, that's good. That's a good idea, that's your adjusters for your ins and outs probably of the thing, but uh, we'll get that all cleared up in a sec here. I'm just going to have a look at the uh, so diagram. It looks like there's a little bit of assembly for the linky parts here for those things. These are all in pieces right now. There's a stud here that joins these two deweys together and then one dewey here. And so yeah, we got a little bit of assembly to do, and uh, I'm guessing those uh, study things are in here. Oops, oh yeah, I see them. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. That's your uh, limiting thing, so the arms can only go so far out, right? Uh, let's see what else here. Oh, I guess that's it. We're in the French now. So that's all we got. Not too bad. And. Uh, 
Let's just have a look closer here at this Dewey too. They're they're both adjusters. That's good. So that other one was a bit bigger. It's under this thing now, but it's it was an adjuster too. You can just see it down here. It was an adjusting one too. So I don't know why that big collary thing's on it, but we'll figure that out too. But I guess I gotta get the hoe off for right now. So let's. Head outside here again, and we'll take the hoe off. It comes off pretty good. I think I might just plant it right uh, in front of the brush here, maybe. So, one sec tubes. We'll get things fired up here and get her in position, and we'll pull that off. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the camera back a bit so you can get a little bit better, bigger shot and stuff. And uh, I'll just sort of basically explain what we got to do. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do her. Uh, we got to get the bucket down onto the ground to take a little bit of the weight off the pins. Now the pins are sort of in behind the uh, stabilizer right there. Great big mother pins in there, one on each side. And uh, just, uh, you have to put the bucket down like that to take the weight off, uh, the hanging weight off so that you can free those pins up to pull them out. And uh, we've got to put the stabilizers down too just to kind of hold it steady kind of thing. And uh, basically once the pins come out, you uh, start basically picking up the bucket again and it comes out. Of, uh, separates at the top where the pins are and then uh, you can uh, get those clear and free and then uh, you just uh, put the stabilizers down a bit and it lifts it out because it kind of sits in like a carrier thing like there's a pin on the bottom and it kind of sits in like that right so we'll just lift the thing up and then drive the tractor ahead unhook the oh, I'll put her down to the ground so it sits on the ground and then uh, unhook the hoses and that's it so it's pretty slick so here we go There's one of those great big mother pins, pretty huge, and then this other little pin holds that in the frame of the tractor. So we got her just in the right pivot position there now, and uh, we'll get the uh, the other side out and then uh, start taking her apart. Okay, so we're free there now, now we just got to drive ahead of here, and uh, just to get her free from the tractor, but you can't go too far because the hoses are still hooked up there, and tell me you'll just, you'll just shred those hoses off if you just took it right off, so just got to move ahead about a foot. Okay, so we have to turn the tractor off to uh, get the hoses undone because it's always flowing through, even if you're not using the backhoe. It's always flowing fluid through it, so it's always got pressure there and ready to go. Now, if you did that uh, while it's running, it would start to pressurize there and start to work really hard. It's really hard on things, right? So you got to shut her down. And uh, there's uh, two hoses. This one's your pressure hose, so that's sending pressure there, and the other one's just like a soft return hose. There's no pressure behind it, right? So we unplug them, great big mothers, 
and unplug this one being grumpy and uh, I generally plug it back into itself kind of thing here that and then this one you got to plug right back into the tractor again or she'll do that pressurizing thing right so if she goes better here yeah, just like that so there we go now she'll, she'll be good except I didn't put her down oops holy airplane seriously uh, but that's okay uh, I'm probably gonna have her hooked back up today anyways but it'll sit there pretty good I think by itself she's pretty solid so not to worry so it looks like my fittings are leaking a bit for some reason I don't know why well, that one's pretty greasy looking there and stuff whoa there and then this one's pretty pretty wet looking here too so now I never did it before we had this big conversion done that's the big box for the snowblower when we had that thing over there for that I had never had this off right but right after that they started leaking I don't know why so as soon as they took them off the first time to uh, put this on and stuff I guess it uh, started leaking so I, I don't know why probably should get some new ones maybe or whatever but maybe the seals are leaking or I don't know don't know what's going on there but whatever but uh, I guess we can get her in position over there by the door now and uh, see about getting this thing put together here where she looks like when she's naked looks kind of more like a farm tractor now eh? well maybe no them kind of tires but and there's that dewey there kind of all sprawled up by himself and looking pretty good pretty good so yeah I don't know why this is dripping so weird though maybe it does have an issue in here maybe it's got something wrong with the seals in there or I don't I don't know don't know what's going on but uh, sure makes a mess though all the dirt sticks to it then, right? All right, so we just gave her a little wash. Just started a little bit cleaner. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start assembling this now. Find all my pins and stuff. And I'll uh, start with the big arms. Pins inside here already. That's good, they fit. Wowie. There's that one. There's the big pin in here. I don't know if the camera's getting that or not. But she's there. She is there. And now we got to do probably the links to these guys here. And those are those adjusters. So we'll grab, they say they want the one with the big square thing on the right. So we'll grab that first. The other one too. And, uh, reading the directions here as I'm doing her. Uh, here maybe. So they're saying they're saying she's got to go this way and uh, this one this way. And that needs a couple of pins. One. There. One, two. There. Now, these other Deweys are a little different. There's something looks like it's got a square head on it. Probably that guy. I was thinking. There's also a bushing. This guy. And then that pin goes through the bushing like that, see? So that's the dewey there for that. So we'll go ahead and grab the other one out too. That one, and there's the other bushing. That one. And these are small pins. Smaller pins, I'm pretty sure they put, yeah, snap ring pin thingy, so. Go ahead and line these guys up and do 
believe it's to that one. chance and I got it wrong too. Let's see how that works. Just like that. It's pretty slick actually. So we'll do the same to this guy. That's good. So we got a lift and Dewey. Now we got to work on our. Uh, and of course, those are in the wrong holes. <laughs> I should have read ahead a bit more. Okay, let's change that. Now. I guess it uh, probably really doesn't matter. But that makes you go a bit lower, right? Which actually probably would matter when you're trying to hook something up to it. The uh, anti sway bar links are supposed to go into. The big Dewey's there, I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, tube, so we got the links built. And uh, there's them there. I don't know if the camera's grabbing at it or not. There they are there, okay. So, now we gotta hook them into these guys here. And that's uh, supposed to keep you from getting your sway going too much. Oh, these are all painted too. Freak these. But anyways, I need to read the instructions here. It looks like they're coming in. Oh no, they're coming in this. Ooh! That can't be right. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, it looks like they're coming in this way. So I gotta get a bolt. Whoa, what's the fall over? This has got a big uh, locky nut. So we'll get that jammed on. And now those have to go a certain way. Read the instructions. It looks like they gotta go this way. Okay, so somehow I gotta be able to hold that stupid thing while I'm cranking on it with my great big wrench. So this might be interesting. Okay, so we got both links on here, Dewey Deweys, and now we got to join the link to this bracket right in there, this guy there. So I don't know how I'm going to do this and not uh, block you guys up here, but uh, I guess you can watch me maybe put the, uh, the Dewey in here, and uh, like that. Oh, I just dropped the pin. Look at my fat head. I don't know, tubes, how I'm going to do this without. Uh... And there she is. She's in. Holy. Sorry, you kind of seen on my shoulder there, but uh, we'll get the uh, locker ring here in. And uh, get the other guy in here. And these were looking uh, pretty darn good. We just need our top link on. Okay, we're good. So, uh, a little more excavation on what the links do is when you tighten up this stud here, it brings these in more and basically pulls this tighter, right? Now, of course, I haven't got anything set yet, so these are probably still way out. But uh, basically keeps it from swinging back and forth. So when you get your whatever implement in here hooked on, uh, when you get your whatever here, like the, I'm going to put the, uh, oh, cultivator on. You put it on, then you tighten these up, and then it locks it against the pin so it won't sway back and forth too much with, I don't think it's going to really matter with this, but we'll get her on and try her. 
but these are all painty and they're not really moving too well yet so that's not good these little ball things in here that move with the, the dewy right so it looks to me like we're not lined up too well so there's adjusters there you can adjust um, if you had a plow or something on you adjust them things and that lowers the plow down because the plow doesn't sit right level it actually sits down a wee bit right on the one side and high on the other so that uh, counterbalances it levels it off when you're down in your furrow that's cut by the plow so I'll show you that someday but not, not, not today I'm just gonna put the cultivator on today and it's just you know basically a big rake but uh, see how much horsepower this thing will put out here and uh, we'll get dragging that uh, cultivator so I do have some extra bits here we still have to put our top link on uh, so just up here and uh, find the big pin for that and that just goes on oh of course you can't see that can you there's three pins here one two three you can set for different heights so that's kind of nice uh, like that and we got one more of these snapper clips that just goes on there locks are in so there we go but uh, I guess now we can try uh, lifting it watch this I get it all together and the thing won't lift anything stupid thing but uh, let's fire it up here tubes and try her out issue here. I think I'm going to switch these two adjuster deweys around just because uh, it was starting to come up and hit into the hose where the other one won't do that right so off she comes again. Pooh, That's not too bad though. That's pretty slick. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. I like it a lot. guy here is pinned back in but this guy here and put his pin back in and we'll lift this guy up here Ooh. isn't it? Pretty slick. I felt oh yeah, the cable off the seat here. That's okay though. Um, yeah. I'm going to grab something there to, uh, try to loosen these paints up here a bit. Now we can get that uh, when we get over there. And then there's the dewy here. goes there and that's for holding your and that dewey so when you hook up it's not in the way and it's not falling down or something stupid right so we'll get uh, a little pin here somewhere 
holds that dewy on. I've got extra parts for some reason, I don't know why. I don't see anywhere else that I need to, you know. Yeah, that's good. And, uh, yeah, like I've got uh, a few extra bits here. I'll have to read the couple of bushings and a couple of nuts and one watery thing, so I don't know where they go, but let's have a look here. Well, tubes, we've got one little issue here I notice now with this hose that I'm not 100% sure where it's going, but it is coming out of that return. It's going to something, but I don't know what, but uh, I'm going to see, uh, there's a 90 here. Uh, and that's hard to see for you guys there, but there's a 90 there. I'm going to see if I can turn it sideways, maybe get that hose up out of the way a bit more. So, uh, got a big wrench out here. We're going to try to move it anyway, so here we go. Well, I'm not super happy with that, but that's about as best as I can get her. I guess that's where it returns into the back of the tractor there, which is kind of sort of weird, but uh, anyways, let's try her. here and it wasn't too too bad I got her all adjusted too so uh, I got her pulling hard that way as much as it'll take so I'll keep it away from that hose as much as possible still not great though but away she goes away she goes but uh, it's gonna need a bit of adjustment I think it's gonna have to be lengthened a bit on the top link so it will bring uh, this out a bit flatter so the back teeth will dig well, let's head up to the house and uh, see what we can do
tube seems to work pretty good. My battery's just about uh, toast here. I only got a few minutes left, so uh, I figured I'd do a little on board with you. We got a 4x4, of course. few less weeds anyways that's kind of what my game plan was because I can't really mow it because all these big rocks and stuff in here right until I get more of a layer of topsoil and stuff in here for for the grass to grow in so yeah just chew up the weeds and cultivate them up a bit rip them out and stuff and uh, away we go so seemed to work pretty good you know uh, I don't think it's really worth 800 bucks but whatever she's good <laughs> she works good so but uh, just a bit of the battery tubes better say good day so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of cool putting all that thing together and stuff and trying her out. It seems to have pretty good uh, power there for pulling that. Uh, need weight in the front bucket though. Makes a huge difference, you know. Even though these tires are loaded on the back, it still wasn't uh, wasn't good. But um, anyhow, uh, putting weight in the front also counteracts the back too, right? So, but uh, it was a lot less slippage because uh, you know the front was pulling with the four x four locked in, right? So seemed to make a little bit more uh, more uh, difference so but uh, yeah it seemed to be dragging good there anyways and chewed her all up and uh, I had her down and sunk down pretty good too it was decent so she done good she done good so anyways tubes uh, we'll uh, say good day for today and uh, we'll talk at you later and stuff and uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the livey show kind of talky show last night we'll have to get him on the blog TV where we can get some webcams going and stuff eh? and uh, and uh, yeah so anyways that, that's her we're uh, gonna someday try the two furrow plow on this too it should be pretty good same same sort of deal I don't think it'd be quite as much to drag uh, uh, drag behind it as this thing but this is pretty tough ground too this isn't uh, really like topsoil this is like gravel and sand so it's pretty tough pretty hard stuff but uh, I think through the dirt there it should probably work a little better but uh, won't be today because the battery is flashing I'm almost dead and I better say good day so good day tubes have a good one